Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. Today we're going to be getting ready for the third and final boss fight we have. That way we can take on the better version of the Fenrir. All we have left is the Broodmother. So the creature I was wanting to use for that is the Chalice. But we don't have any of them around that are high enough level to tame. I've been doing a lot of searching and they're all just low level or they're only like around 120. I think is the highest one I've seen. We have enough of the beer and stuff for taming. I just can't find any. So what we're going to do is use one of the creatures that I've been wanting to use on a boss fight. They got super low damage, but I think it might be fine with the Yudi. It's gonna be the Megalanius, well, the Aberrant versions, to be specific. So we're gonna take some today. We've got quite a few we kind of need to sort through and look at, get our breeding pair, and we're gonna start raising those up. We're gonna see how they do. I think it'll be all right if we kind of mix them with our Yudi. And speaking of him, man, that guy's been taking a beating in the boss fights. He lost about half his health. The main thing is I need to throw him out and let him eat a little bit today. The dude was like almost out of food in the boss fight. I had to feed him some of my, some of my jerky. Yeah, he's down to like 600 and that's after I fed him a bunch. So it'll be fine. We'll make sure to keep the, the feed trough full today for him. And then we'll get some of the Megalania out. I want to do some testing with that. Oh my gosh, we are out of food. Holy crap, dude. Do some raw meat. Let's go ahead and just pull 10,000. And then let's pull some berries as well. That's me getting ready for all these boss fights, man. I've been using so much food lately. Let's do 600 of these as well. That should be good. We should be all right for a little bit. Cool. So, I did change my armor out. So we're wearing the chitin again. Uh, pretty much because I'm out of the organic polymer. And let's do something with these. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use magma swords anymore anytime soon. You guys left me a bunch of comments about different ways to stack them on top of each other in the... Kind of like in the portal room, and that way you can fit more in. I'll kind of keep that in mind, and if we decide to do it again... Is it going to be like that today? Can I can I just not get stuck one day whenever I put you in the roof? That'd <laughs> be fantastic. Kind of why I started putting them up here. But yeah, there's a way that you can... Uh... Oh, dude. Land, buddy. Land, just land. Okay, okay, okay. Look, look. You can stay there with your head in the floor. I don't care. Be an ostrich. Do your thing. But yeah, you can stack them, and then they'll kind of pile on top of each other. I always thought that they wouldn't go into the boss fight like that, but apparently they will. And I'm getting comments about using the pheromone darts for the minions. You shoot the boss with it, and the minions will actually go for the boss instead. So that's something I want to put in here, so hopefully I don't forget next time. We'll just keep that on us. And let's get rid of these magma swords. We'll put them in here for now. Not saying we're going to keep them very long. All right, put all you guys in there. That kind of sucks, man, that they didn't get used, and I spent so much on their saddles. Ah, uh, well. Anyways, it's what it is. However, Megalania. So let's grab all these guys. We don't want the Megalosaurus. You guys are fine. You're fine. So some of these are the kind of ones that we have the colors from when we hatched all the eggs. So pretty much what we're looking for is the best on the health and damage. So for our males, we got 40 and 33. And then 40 and 32. I think this is the original breeder one. And he might have enough points for us to do some testing with today. He's been in there for a long time. Oh, you do. You got 69. Okay, let's leave him there for the moment. He's got a saddle too. Wait. I think I need to make that saddle into a blueprint, right? Yeah, that's one of the good ones. So that's a 133, so it does kind of fit our thing of wanting to keep it around 100. So that'll work out on that. We'll change that into... Let's just take that with us. Change it into a blueprint, just to make sure. And then this other one is... 40 and 33, so it's got one more point in damage, and that's got the good colors, I believe, too, right? It does, that's the orange one. Okay, so we'll keep him. What have we got for females? We've got 31 and 32. 31, 31. 42, 32, that's not bad. 40, 32. And a 40, 31. This one we're definitely going to keep. 42 is fantastic on the health. Oh, and that's the red one. Okay, cool. So that's awesome, man. Both of those colors are the ones I wanted to keep. And these other ones, I think, are just basic colors, right? They are. I just kind of kept them for the... Oh, wait. What is this one? Let's got the lime green underneath. Not worried about it. All right. Let's get rid of these. We'll set these guys on breeding. We'll get some eggs. And while they're doing the thing with the eggs... Wait. Hold on. Before we do that, let me double check the stats between the two. Ah, uh, boy. I tell you what. Get rid of some of these as well. Not you. Not you. I think that's the one, right? 42, 32. 
It is. So, okay, what are the stats on these? So, 42 on health, 40 on health, 33, and 32. So, pretty much we're going to take the damage from him and the health from her. So, we'll do a tiny bit of extra breeding to get a good pair with those mixed ones. The colors don't matter, right? Because I like both of them. So, whichever ones we come out with is fine. We just need to make sure to get the, the good stats on them. So, nice doing our breeding over here instead of over there by the volcano. Go ahead and just eat that one, and we're good, and then let's make this into a blueprint real quick. Oh, you know what? Let's wait on that. I don't have any hide. I know I'm very, very short on hide, and I want to be able to make another one. Let's do some testing with him first, and then we'll make it into a blueprint. There's another one down here. 31, 31. Let's get rid of it as well. All right, so we're going to pick up the UD. We're going to go just outside base here. I want to put all, or not, maybe not all, but a good amount of the points into his damage. And I want to see what we're going to get with scaling on that. That's going to be kind of a, <laughs> a main factor. The good part is, these guys are so small, man. We should have no problems getting all of them onto the platform, you know? So let's do this. Let's... Some points in you first. So roughly what we'll be doing, usually I get around 74 points whenever I start putting them into them for the boss fights. So we can kind of simulate that. I want to get around 15,000 on the health. Just because it's a decent saddle, right? 133. And the Broodmother's not that bad. I know it can be on Alpha. That's kind of why we're doing this on Beta instead. And let's pump the rest into damage. I'll have to get the Snow Owl out here and heal him up a little bit. I don't want to lose him while we're doing testing. I mean, that's that kind of defeats the purpose of testing. Wait, is the Snow Owl out up here? It might be. You are, buddy! You got a lot of points, too. Let's put... Oh, my gosh, 39. These are all going into stamina. And we still need to find another one of these for breeding. Seems that they're so good. I don't think I've ever done snow owl breeding. So I'm kind of curious how the stats will come out on the little ones. Kind of like the dark colors. Not a fan of the brown, but the main dark color. Oh, looks fantastic. All right, let's heal this guy up a little bit. And I'll tell you what. Yep. Pull them both close because the UD's a little bit... Down on his health as well. i tell you what, that boss fight. Oh, that dragon boss fight. I am so glad it actually worked out, though, towards the end. <laughs> it was pretty sketchy. But we did make it. All right, let me heal these guys up. We'll take them just outside of the wall here and do a little bit of testing. It doesn't matter what it's on. I just want to see what their base damage is. And then whenever I hit the boost with the UD, I want to see how much it goes up. We're probably aiming for at least 200 to 250 per Megalania. And I think we'll be fine on the Broodmother. I'm kind of hoping, I'm thinking. Well, uh, it's a whole point of testing, man. <laughs> we'll find out pretty fast. All right, so this is the last freeze. That'll be enough on the health for this guy for testing. The cool part is, once we get done with the Broodmother, all we have left to do for the Fenrir is just get the Shadow Mains raised up. We're going to be using those for sure, and I've already got all the little ones. I just need to put them out, get them raised up. We don't have to make any saddles. And then just kind of jump in the boss fight. Because all we need is the three... Or not artifact, but the trophies, right? How are you doing? Oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. All right, let's pick you up. Let's head outside the gates here. Try to find maybe like a little saber tooth or something. And then kind of go from there with this. We don't need something... Kind of a cool looking Argentavis out there. The orange one? Low level. Super low level. I don't want to deal with any kind of birds, right? I want it to be on the ground so we can get some good numbers from the, the testing. And per yeah, preferably, nothing with a bleed effect, like the Feather Raptors. Oh, speaking of Feather Raptors, there's going to be a ton of those around. I'll tell you what, here's some Sabres up here. We good? We're good. That's a kind of a cool looking one, too. The black and orange? Oh, that looks fantastic. He's about to die. <laughs> it's not going to be a good day for him. All right, so let's get you out. Oh, there you go. Right there, buddy. Yep, yep, yep. He'll be fine. He's got a good saddle. So he's doing uh, roughly 113 on those guys. They are made boosted for the Sabres. And 142. I want to get just one creature and test it that way. There we go. One left. So 142. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Do this. There's a lot of stuff. I kind of need to kill everything off. That way there's only one. We'll keep the one scorpion. Let's get rid of the rest of these guys. 
start. We could also use the meat back at base and the hide. Dude, we are so low on hide. I need to do a run down with the chainsaw to uh, to the cave, the aberration cave, to try to get some of the the polymer and stuff, you know? All right, so that should be good there. All right, buddy. I might be too far for the whistle. Nope. Oh, dude's got some feather raptors. Sorry, Junior. Is it just one? Oh, just one. Okay, we're fine. Stay over here. Stay away. Let him do his thing. All right, him. Don't worry. I'll hold aggro. You'll be fine. So, 113. It's the same thing. And 142. Why does these sabers take less damage from him, I wonder? Interesting. That's uh, quite a bit less on... So, see, that's 142. Same thing. Quite a bit less on the damage, but there is no mate boost, so it might be up around 200. I think we'll be fine, man. I think we'll be fine. And then I can always use a UD for a little bit of extra damage, too. That's almost 800, so it's like a couple more of the Megalanias. It'll be fine, man. It'll be fine. We'll get uh, a good pair out here for mate boosted as well before we go for the day. And check and see how that kind of works out. I should check the, the ones we already have. Because they're going to have levels I can put into them, you know, for the damage. Go ahead and close this. There you go. Leave it outside the gate, please. Not in the base. Alright, we're going to leave you out here just to do a little bit of feeding today. <laughs> Let you heal up some. You're still a little low on your health, buddy. We got a big boss fight coming up again. Definitely gonna need you. That saddle is fantastic. 197. All right, so let's see if we have any eggs. Wait, what is... Okay, that's one of the other giga eggs that I had. We got two. And then let's go ahead and... We're gonna leave this one in here. We'll use it for testing. Oh, we gotta get the saddle off of them too. We'll leave them over here. It'll be fine. There we go. <laughs> Just so I don't get them mixed up. It happens, man. It happens. All right. How are the little ones? So we're down on the damage on that one and damage on that one. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm going to sit here for a bit, let them kind of do their things. I might take one of the... Let's go ahead and put these guys on this. So they'll still do the... the Wrong button. So they'll still do the birdie while I'm gone. I'm going to go do a little bit of farming on the Sabertooth for some hide. Try to get that kind of sorted out. And depending on how slow these eggs go, we might jump down in and check out the Aberration Cave. Try to grab a little bit of polymer. I would like to repair my armor. We're kind of low on the organic polymer. And I'm trying to keep all my stuff full. That way, if for some reason, we need it for taming or something. I don't have to worry about trying to find stuff then to repair it. So I'll see you back in a little bit once we got some more eggs. And we'll check out how our newborns will be. Let's see where we're at in life. I did find an Alpha Raptor. So we got a couple more of the runes. It's not much. It was only a level 50. However, all of them help, right? Let's leave you in there. It's only five, man. <laughs> it wasn't much at all. And then we'll go ahead and throw this other stuff in the grinder. And let's go ahead, even if they're not ready, we'll go ahead and check out doing our saddle and stuff. Alright, we'll leave all that. I should probably keep those scenes how we need a good one. I mean, it's fine, though. It's fine. Alright. We have some eggs. Wait. I'll make a lady toxin. Totally forgot about that. One whole egg, boy. I tell you what. It's going to be slow, man, until we get another female. I'll be taking that, thank you. Did I get it? I didn't. I did. So that's not bad. Okay, so that's good. We'll go ahead and hold on to this one. We lost some weight. I'm not going to be using it for weight for anything. So we'll hold on to this. We'll go ahead and raise it up. We'll put you out here. Let you do your thing. We're going to... Disable mating. I'm not going to get rid of this one. We'll let that other egg come out. I like the color, so I definitely want to keep that one for colors. So I want to have some that has the orange and red. I'm hoping to get a male and a female, right? One that has a... Kind of like this. One that has the red, one that has the orange, and then that way I can always have a mix of them. We'll let this guy raise up, put it out here for some eggs, and then we'll keep that one just until that one egg's done. Retire her for the moment. And let's go ahead and see about... What are we doing? Upgrading our saddle. If we have enough stuff. I'm not upgrading. We just need to make a blueprint. That's right. 
We double check. I don't think we have one. We don't. Oh, we do! We already made it into a blueprint! Oh, dude, that is fantastic! That's even better. Take what, let's go ahead and just leave it over here. What's the requirements? So... Not too bad on the metal. A good bit of hide and a good bit of fiber. We'll leave that in there. We'll take this one saddle out. I'll keep it. We'll use it for our testing. Let's see how we're doing on some resources up here real quick. And then we'll do a growth pulse and get... Junior raised up. Food's looking good. Not too bad. I need to check... Our vegetables, and we'll tell you what, we can just do it from here. Oh, nice, man, nice. Quite a bit on there. I like how it pulls it out of the farmer and stuff. It's not too bad. And then we have... Just that, and I think the red ones. I need to check my bin down there. I think I might have pulled all those out. Oh, we got 101, just not enough. We're out of... <laughs> we're out of normal polymer, though. And then, metal. Yeah, cement paste is out. Oh, wait, we got the... Interesting. I wonder why I didn't pull from that whenever I was needing it the other day. That's the one from the snails, which we still got to set up as well. Metal, 256. Oh, uh, dude, I tell you what, and our hide is only at 5600. So, yeah, I got a lot of farming to do for some saddles, but, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad, you know? Alright, you got some element. How much have you got? 80. That should be fine. We'll do that. Let's throw this into here. Save it for later. Ah, uh, dude, it's gonna be nice. So this one should be done. We should have the one egg from it. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Disable mating. Let's unhitch you, and let's move you just out of the way. We'll put the saddle on. I like the colors, man. I do not like red, but it's kind of like a fire red, right? It's almost got a little bit of orange in it. It's kind of cool. Not too bad. These things do get around pretty quick, too. All right, we'll leave you there for now. You did good. <laughs> you, you've got a lot of work, though. Just saying. You doing all right? You're not doing all right. You look horrible. It's all right. It is eating, though. And I need to check this because I pulled some of those berries. Oh, we're good. We're good? We should be fine. And you are at 100. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick you up. We'll throw you out right there. That's cool. At least we'll have a nice orange pair, too, though. We'll do that, and let's put you on the hitching post. There we go. And what was the stat we were missing on him? Was it the damage or the health? I think the health, right? So 49 and 456. 51 and 456. Okay, so we still need to get a male one that has the good health, and then we'll have our breeding pair, and that'll be kind of set. So I'm going to let them do their thing for a little bit longer. It is getting towards evening time. Happens pretty fast in this game, it seems. So that's all we're waiting on. One male, and then we'll have our breeding pair, and we can start on our little Megalania army. <laughs> I'm excited. Nervous, but excited. Still waiting on the Megalania. I figured we'd come down over here. I was going to go to the Aberration Cave, but there's usually quite a few of the crabs over this way. Oh, there's an Alpha one. Oh, there are jellyfish, too. Okay. A lot of jellyfish. Don't remember seeing that many last time. What level is this Alpha? 60? Okay, tell you what. So there's the other crab. That's why I wanted to come down here. There's usually like four or five crabs around. Let's go ahead. We'll take this guy out. We will see how much we get for the runes. <gasps> Don't hit him! Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. We just lost so much polymer doing it that way. Come over here, man. Get away from the jellyfish. But I want to see how much we get for runes. Another bite. There we go. Yep, jellyfish. Okay. They're going to be a problem. I really need to get my basil out and come over here for stuff. Okay, we got everything in the world coming on over here on us. I just wanted... Oh, there's another crab. Dude, there are so many crabs over here. Usually, I'll use a chainsaw and I'll teleport back and forth to base whenever I come over here. It's kind of like my farming spot for the polymer. However, it's not going to be the case today, seeing as how everything in the world's over here. All right, don't... Ah, it's always that last bite, man. It's always the last bite. Oh, don't hit the jellyfish. Big bite. There we go. I don't know if we can hit those... Uh, the. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Yep. Yep. You're, you're in a bad spot, buddy. I can't help you. I have absolutely nothing to be able to help you with. They went, oh, the jellyfish are fast. 
There we go. <laughs> yep. I know I kind of cheated you. Why are we sw swimming so slow? We got fins on. Buddy, try not to get electrocuted. I'm just saying. Yep, I was gonna- Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done it. I was trying to bite him and get out of the way. I know, I know. It's my bad. It happens. That's a really cheap way of getting out of that, though. Just saying. I don't like it. Alright, over here is far enough away. <laughs> Let's focus on just this. We have to go back and get our bag, too, that was over there. From the... The other crabs has got some of our polymer in it. It's kind of the whole reason for coming down here. I was hoping to get it done before nighttime. Big bite. I didn't expect to see an alpha, though, as a thing. Can I do the big bite? There we go. Dude has a ton of health. Oh, we got eels, too! Why is there so much electric stuff over here? It's not even by anything. Okay. Before I forget where our bag is. I have totally lost the bag. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, as long as we don't get dismounted, it'll be fine. It's not gonna be fine. There's a whole family. The whole family's here. I just want the alpha crab. Is it too much to ask? And a little bit of polymer. With the side of runes. Just saying. The, uh, the health on this guy is crazy, man, on this crab. Big bite. Yep. yep. Yep, 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 Okay, okay. We gotta be getting close here, man. I should have brought... I guess some better underwater weapons. Just for whenever I get dismounted. I know a crossbow will work. I have a couple good ones back at base. I think we have a good blueprint, too. Dude, could you please die? Anytime soon. The jellyfish are coming again. I mean, we're doing good damage. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, don't hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. We're fine. Alright, let's do this. I bet it! I didn't realize that! Boy, I tell you what, we just wasted so much of that, and I can't see. Great. Well, that whole trip down here is for nothing. We've got a whole, what, 200? Not much. Not much, because I can't find my bag. Let's turn the lights up. Ah, dude, that sucks, man! There's the bag. Okay, wait. Back up, back up. This. Hit the bag, hit the bag, hit the bag! There we go! Oh, we got the bag! Oh, jump out of here! Okay, okay. <laughs> Do your jump, buddy. There we go. Well, that did not go at all as planned. It happens like that sometimes. Let's get up here. We're gonna go back to base. We have a little bit of polymer that should allow us to repair our armor. That's all I wanted to do, man, was repair the armor. And then how much do we get for the runes? You got 22 levels off that. Holy crap, dude. Oh, we got the, uh, the claw, too. I don't know if we need that on this map. 27! That's not too bad, man. All right, tell you what, let's get up here. We're somewhat safe. Take that off. And those off. Grab all this. Put you in here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. That's arc for you, man. That's far arc for you, for sure. And we are so overweight. It's gonna be... All this junk we don't need to... How much do we weigh? Oh, we gotta drop a lot. Let's just drop a lot of the meat and stuff. We'll come back over here and pick it up in a second. I seem to get to where I can actually move, you know? Alright, now that all that is taken care of... Oh, I don't have a bin set up for that. Interesting. I'll have to... Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and cook it up right away. I need to have some fish meat anyways for, like, the otters and stuff whenever we put them back out. Which one? Here it is, the grill. Insta-cook it all. Nice, nice. Uh, makes us so much easier, so much faster. And we'll check on our eggs, see where we're at with those. Hopefully we'll have some good ones, seeing how we've been gone for a few minutes. It's nice not having everything spoiled, too, in the fridge. So nice, man. I'll deal with that other stuff in our inventory in a bit. What you got for me, buddy? You got three. I'll take it, I'll take it. Not too bad. Alright, so we're looking for a male. Definitely not you. Ah, not you. We're still needing a male. How is the female? Still missing points, too. All right, well, you know the drill. Nice, man, nice. So that's the male we need. 
has a good health, a good damage. So we'll go ahead, we'll change this guy out. Let's go ahead and pick you up. And then, I got those guys set out here. Whenever it gets daylight out, I want to use those for testing. That's just a male and a female. The female doesn't really have points. We don't need it though, right? We just need her around for the mate boost. We use a UD, boost him up, and see what the damage difference is. I think it was like 142 we were doing beforehand. So, let's throw this guy out. It's going to be another orange one, which is fine. They look good. We'll give him a second. We'll get him raised up. And then that'll be our breeding pair. That's not too bad, man. So let's go ahead and do this. So there's our one breeder. And there is our second one. It kind of sucks we don't have any of the other colors. But like I said, I'll do some color breeding later because I do like that, man. I wouldn't mind getting one of those in the mix. It doesn't matter if it's the male or the female we get that has those colors. It'll just be nice to have them. So let's go ahead and do that. I should really have the bat. I don't have any blood packs. I was going to say you can get one of the elixirs. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Let's get rid of some of this megalania toxin. Dude, I got so much of it. It's going to be going to be a lot of it. I should have one more here, too. And it is getting daylight out already. Very nice. Alright, so we'll get rid of him. We don't need him anymore. And you shouldn't be too far along. Let's go ahead and pick these guys up. I'm not going to put the saddle on him. We shouldn't need it. He should be fine. Just like it is. I just, like I said, we're using it for testing. That's kind of the only reason. Get that last little bit. We'll put you on mating. We'll start getting our eggs for our army. So we are going to take in 19. So quite a few we need, but it shouldn't take long at all to get them. I mean, they're fairly fast on on the egg lane. A little bit more, man. A little bit. There we go. Nice. I right, see so you should be good. Awesome. Those will start working. Let's hop on our UD. We'll go out, try to find something else. I'm going to go a little bit further up the hill just so that we can avoid... All the stuff down here. I'm going to try to find an Anki. I think that'll be kind of the easiest thing to test on because, I mean, they're fairly slow. We don't have to worry about them killing off the Megalania or anything else trying to really mess with it. So let me find one of those guys and we'll see how they do with the mate boost pair. I'm really hoping it works out, man. I'm really hoping for around 200. What level are you? The 45. I mean, we could try that out. Let's do that. There's nothing else around. Yep, yep, yep. Equip them. Equip. <laughs> All right. Get you guys boosted. So you're doing 151. 189. So that's not bad. And that's not even all the points. So if we do around 15,000 on the health, put everything else in a damage, that should get us up around the 200. Now, I know 200 is kind of low, but don't forget, we still have the UD for doing a little bit of extra damage and stuff while we keep the boosts up. So it's not too bad, man. I think. I think it's not too bad. <laughs> it should work out. Alright, let's grab you. Grab you. Let's head back down to base. Oh, makes me happy, man. At least we somewhat got near the goal. I think we'll be probably just over 200 when we put a couple more points into them. So all should be well with that. Get back in here before something happens. I'm thinking about putting one of the tech gates up. Just because it'll make it easier. What was that? We're stuck. We're stuck. That's awkward. Something was... Oh, that was a Rex that fell down the cliff. I saw something fall. It's a level 60. A lot of Rex around here all of a sudden. Need some Alpha ones to get some more of those runes. So here's our first official one that we're going to be using for the boss fights. Let's go ahead and get it out. We'll see what the final stats look like. And then that'll be kind of it for today. Kind of been all over the place today, right? Had to get a little bit of our... Organic polymer and stuff. That way we can do... Oh, that's a female too. So that'll work. I'll put her out for more mating over here too. That'll make the eggs go faster. But we got our polymer and stuff. Got our armor repaired. So the final stats that are going to be for our boss fight. Megalania. Aberrant Megalania. That is 42 on the health. Stamina is 33. Our wheat is 34. Damage is 33 as well. And that kind of turns into almost 5200 on the health. And then damage is 456%. 800 on the weight, which is fantastic, man. And their stamina, too. 1,700. That is not bad. And then the regular 150 movement speed. I think they'll be fine, man, once we get them all going. And then, like I said, the Broodmother's not exactly the hardest boss. So that should kind of work out kind of in our favor a little bit. 
<laughs> it'll be nice. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little bit of aberrant megalania breeding. Oh uh, man, I'm kind of excited for this boss fight and nervous at the same time. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.